Hello, hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? <clears throat> I'm doing over here. I just had a board game challenge with my son. We played like five or six board games, and then we played some darts. And they're off to their dad's house for a few days. Sucks when they're gone. Um, so... Trying to think. I'm trying to get this pen to work. That's my nephew's. There we go. Um. There we go. So, uh, I guess I'm going to do some story time. <laughs> Okay, so, picture it, Sydney, no, just joking, um, I love the Golden Girls, so, uh, I saw this girl, and we were going out <clears throat> for my friend Hooper's birthday, and, uh, we went to this bar called The Hideaway, it was kind of our thing, so we went there, and we're hanging out, and <clears throat> I do the same with the bartender, it's called Tip for Tip, give her an amazing tip. Tip my head back on the bar, and she pours bottles of alcohol in my mouth until it comes out of my nose a few times. So, we're at this bar, and I started playing pool. And once I start playing pool, until I lose, I don't, I don't move. I stay there. So, it's been a couple hours, and they're like, dude, we're going down to the American Legion. So, I don't know. Hour or two goes by. I'm completely wasted. I'm so drunk. So... I'm like, well, where did everybody go? And they're like, dude, they told you they went down there forever ago. So, uh, I guess I must have took off down there. I don't have any recollection of that. The next thing I know, it's like, Ballard. Jamie, get up. Jamie, get up. And I'm like, dude, leave me the fuck alone. I'm trying to fucking sleep. He's like, Jamie, I'm not fucking kidding. Get up right now. So I open my eyes. And there's Officer Transvac standing over top of me. I'm in a mud puddle. I have boxers on and a wife beater on. I don't know where my shoes are. I don't know where my pants are. I don't know where my phone is. Nothing. So he puts me in his car and he takes me to my parents' house where I haven't lived in forever. I don't even know how long. And he said, if I see you again, I'm going to get you for public intoxication. So I'm like, fuck, right? So I'm looking around for my dad's car keys. Well, I couldn't find his car keys, but what I did find was the keys to his lawnmower. So I jumped on that bad boy. And I drove it probably a quarter mile and ran out of gas. Now, this whole time, I have my parents' house phone. And I'm trying to call people way out of range. Like, I'm nowhere near that house. So I have to go back because the lawnmower ran out of gas. I look next door at the Porters. People live next door to my family my whole entire life. One of their granddaughters, Dora the Explorer. Tricycles are outside. That'll fucking do ya, right? Get on that bad boy. So I did. Got on that bad boy and I pedaled my ass right back to the hideaway, had the phone in the basket, went back inside, I said, yo, where is everybody? And she's like, dude, what the fuck happened to you? I'm covered in mud, I got no pants on. She's been, like, dude, you've been gone for like half an hour, bro. Like, what the fuck happened? I'm like, all right, long story. Where is everybody? So she's like, I don't know, this is where they said they were going. So, now mind you, my tricycle is parked right in between two motorcycles. So, uh, Cross comes out, he's like, yeah, I like the ride, dude. I'm like, yeah, I bet. So, uh, now I forget the phone at the hideaway. I leave my parents' house at the hideaway. So, I get back on the bike, checking, checking, checking. Well, I get down by this house, it has these little solar lights along their walkway. It's nighttime, I need people to see me. So I take one of those bad boys, throw it in the basket. Now we got lights, now we got headlights, people know we're coming. So I'm pedaling around. And I'm not kidding you, probably like 2,000 feet from my parents' house. They were at my friend Nicole's house. They were all sitting over there chilling and shit. So, you know, I took the bicycle and pedaled my ass over there, found them, hung out, 
The next day, my parents were so pissed off. My dad's lawnmower's down the road, out of gas. Their house phone is at the bar. And I stole my neighbor's kid's bike. <whistles> you have no idea the things that I've done. That's a small portion. That's like one day. <laughs> yeah. I shit like that all the time. <clears throat> How do you lose yourself? You know? I was so fucking happy before I started doing drugs. I was was never angry unless somebody made me angry. It's always fun. It's always a good time. Wait till I tell you guys about this guy named Mike. <clears throat> he was a local artist in Sydney, but he did some pretty crazy stuff. He, uh has paintings hung in New York City like he's a good painter and uh, I can't wait to tell you guys that story holy moly you're in for it then so um, I tried to call the SPCA again today to get a thing on the kitten but they weren't there so I gotta wait I'm just so worried about my, f so a couple of my friends. It's scary when you get messages about something and then you don't hear back for a minute, you know? A lot of crazy stuff going on. I have been busy, man. Busy, busy, busy. <clears throat> Had to take my niece down to South Carolina. We drove down there. Gosh, that was like 14 hours of hell. And then it was crazy while we were there, and then I came home, and then I had to drive them back to Norwich, and then me back to Cortland, and then I had to go back to get their daughter and her boyfriend and bring them here for a couple days and bring them home. I've driven probably like three, 3,500 miles probably in the last two weeks. Not even lying, it's crazy. Um... Yeah, it's about 900 miles to her grandma's house. These kittens are so cute. I don't, she's not even growing. Look how little she is. Oh, she's singing. Hi, baby. I wish you could hear her. She's purring. Now you see yourself over there. You see her. Huh? Well, guys, I guess that's story time for today. But, um, I'll get my group back. I'll get back into it. I, uh, I try to do them without rehearsing them. So that way it's like, you know, more real. I know that there's times when I get like, duh, don't say anything, but um, I will have it more programmed out. These little guys. Just a big baby. I don't know. I think we might have to find a home for them. But they have to be together. Don't ask for me for them to be separated because I won't give them to you. They're so cute, guys. I just have four cats already. This is six cats. But look how she looks at me. She knows. Huh? Huh, princess? Don't you? Dora! Dora! Alright, guys. One more wrap this up. Uh, I really appreciate all of you. Thank you for staying faithful to my channel, even when I'm not. Um, I'm going to try my hardest to be out here giving you videos at least once a week. 
but uh, I'm going to try to do more than that. Um, so give me some ideas, please. Ideas in the comment section. Throw them at me. What do you want to know? What do you want me to do? Just, you know, ask me. And uh, we'll toss it up on the channel. All right? Uh, I love you guys, all of you. Thank you so much. Um, the word says thank you. The order says thank you. The order. They say thank you too. All right, guys. We'll talk to you next time.